Welcome to the second part of the Kanoko 5 tool. My name is Peter Schmelauer and I have co-authored the Kanoko 5 software. In the first part, we have left Kanoko 5 at the time it imported data from the Excel file into a new project and offer me this dialog that allows to quickly set up my first analysis on the data. There are three alternative analyses offered in this dialog box. And if you hover over them with the mouse pointer, additional explanation is provided. I will go for the first choice, but will summarize the community variation. After clicking the Yes button, the analysis is created and Kanoko displays the analysis setup wizard where I will review the analysis option and can change them eventually. When you run Kanoko 5 for the first time, it starts in the quick visit mode and only the most important option pages are shown in the setup wizard. Here there are just two pages. The first one offers the type of ordination method to use as well as transformation and standardization of the species data. As I have asked for unconstrained ordination the row containing the constraint methods is disabled, leaving me with the choice of either the linear principle component analysis, PCA, or the unimodal correspondence analysis, or detrended correspondence analysis, DCA. Kanoko Advisor suggests the detrended correspondence analysis, and this choice is based on a background review of my data with its results summarized by the text I have currently selected. Although this may not be obvious from the page state, Kanoko Advisor also considered the transformation of species composition data, but decided not to suggest it. You are of course welcome to change any of the suggested options. At this point, I will mention that all desert pages or dialog boxes have a context sensitive help you can display by clicking their help button. The page which shows displays explanation for the options that are present in our wizard page. After I click the next button the second wizard page informs me that all the options were set and suggest immediate execution of the new analysis. So after I click the finish button, the analysis is executed, but before I can see its results, another wizard appears. The graph wizard is shown for analysis created for you by the Kanoko advisor and offers ordination plots and other diagram types that are expected most appropriate to visually summarize your analysis results. Two diagrams are offered here and after I click the next button I can fine tune their contents. The first suggested diagram can display in the ordination space not only the plant species and environmental variables but also the plots. But I will uncheck the plots to make the diagram less cluttered. On the next page I can set up options for a diagram visualizing the variation in species diversity across the plots and related to the measured environmental properties. You can see that multiple diversity measures are offered, but I will keep the default species richness called here number of plant species. After clicking next and then the finish button, the graphs are also created. I will now describe briefly the workspace of the Kanoko 5 program. In the lower part is the project level log, where important events of the work with the data and analysis are recorded. I will close it now to make more space for the remaining parts of the Kanoko workspace. At the left side is the project pane, with the list of data tables at its top followed by the list of analyses defined in the project. Presently, just a single analysis 
is defined. Below the list are important shortcut buttons that provide access to the most important aspects of the work with the analysis. I will mention now only the new button that you will use to ask the Kanako advisor for help with setting up a new analysis. Results of each analysis after it is created and executed are present in the analysis notebook. Unless you close it using the hide button below the analysis list, it stays open even when you create another analysis with their own notebooks. We will explore the contents of the analysis notebook in the following third part of our tour of the Kanoko 5 software.